Elite Soul Family was good. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, the reason why I stopped smoking the reefers <laughs> is because um, I stopped smoking weed, I would say, right before my birthday. My birthday is in early November. And um, fasting is not only fasting from food. You can fast from anything. Sex, you know, maintain, being abstinent, that's fasting. Fasting from sex. Um, and also fasting from certain things, certain vices. And I said, I want to see how long I cannot smoke weed. Or not indulge in that. Because I've been doing it since I was 17. I was like... After a while, it's like, do I really need this? I, it became such a, such a force of habit for me that I thought I needed the weed. Oh, because I, you know, I got money. I can go get the weed. I can go get, you know, my favorite food and then come home and smoke my brains away. And that became such a pattern for me. And when you want your abundance come, to come in, you have to break certain patterns and break cer certain addictions and stay away from certain things. Even though it might seem innocent, but, you know, if it's um, hindering you in any type of way, you know, making you tired or making you lazy or making you overeat, you get stuck in other certain cycles and certain patterns. And that is not good. So I wanted to be more focused. I wanted to, to just save more money, too, honestly, because, you know, smoking weed can be a very expensive habit. It can turn into a bill. And at that point, you know, it was turning into a bill for me. You know, when you buy an eighth every couple of days, that's $25. I mean, that that adds up. You know what I mean? Sorry. Excuse me. Um, that adds up. And after a while, you're like, okay, well, I'm smoking, smoking, smoking. And I can be saving that money to towards a goal, towards a trip. Towards, you know, I like fashion, a new pair of shoes, I like Bottegas, <laughs> a new pair of shoes, a new, a new shirt, a new jacket, a new something. So, you know, you have to test yourself and force yourself to see if you can stop these certain addictions and stop these certain things. That's so why I stop smoking weed and I don't even miss it. Smoking since I was 17. I'm in my mid to late 30s now, and I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I don't miss the weed. Now, that's not to say that I would never smoke again, but for right now, I don't see it happening. Edibles, I might do an edible. I haven't even done that. That too can get really expensive. You know, so force yourself, push yourself to try to stop doing things that you think you need. You think you got to do because you've been doing it. You think you need the blunt. When chances are you don't need the blunt, you need to meditate. You need to work out. You need to pray. You need to journal. Transmute that energy into something creative. Also, another reason why I stopped smoking weed is because it would make me anxious because, um, and there's a, difference, there's a difference between anxiety and paranoia, okay? Because people would like to say, oh, you're getting paranoid. No. There's a difference between anxiety and paranoia. Two different things. Only smart, intelligent people can decipher between the two. Only a fool will or will call you out and be like, you're paranoid because you, you smoked weed and you acted a little weird. No. Anxiety, paranoia, two different things. Intelligent beings will understand. And a lot of times when spiritual people smoke weed or do any other vice, it might either enhance their gifts, diminish their gifts, or make their gifts, the spiritual gifts, be um, confusing or 
misleading them or confuse them in a way. So you have to be very careful as a spiritual being when you're smoking weed, you're, at, you're opening up other portals or other forms of communication that you might not be able to decipher, understand, or, contr or control the right way. So be very careful if you're a spiritual person, smoking weed, doing drugs, doing any other vice that is not for you, drinking wines and spirits, alcohol, same thing. Why do, they, why do you think they call it wines and spirits? They're telling you what you're drinking. Same thing with weed. You're opening different avenues, different portals in your brain, different, different, you know, dimensions. You're going to different levels in your brain by smoking weed, getting high. You're going to force yourself to slow down, wean yourself off, or just stop. I stopped cold turkey. I didn't have to wean myself off of that. Wean myself off of that. But, um, like I told someone, like I told you guys in another video, I... You know, I like smoking black and miles. That was a way to help me not smoke weed. I'm not saying black and miles are the best, but it ain't weed. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not judging. I'm, you know what I mean? You know how I am. I'm not judging because how can I judge, okay? So, um, I just want to explain to people why I stopped smoking weed. And hopefully you can do the same thing too to get your, your abundance to come in. To make your manifestations come in, to make your ships come in, you have to fast from certain vices to get your wish fulfillment. The most high is not going to give you your wish fulfillment. You out here smoking, drinking, and, and boning every two minutes. It's not going to happen for you. Okay? So that's my explanation for why I smoked weed. I hope this helped you. And have a good day. Like this video, or comment, or share. Thank you.